Sweet Me Creamery makes their ice cream the old-fashioned way. They use milk from local Midwestern dairy farms, and they kind of they really craft these in small batches. Yeah. yeah. Joining us now is pastry chef Michelle Geyer, who is consulting on their flavors and working on some new projects. And we talked about the James Beard Awards earlier. You've been nominated six times, so it's true. you know your stuff. I definitely know what's up in the ice cream department. So how did sure. this collaboration yeah. come about? You've made a few flavors in your day. <laughs> I've done a few yes. flavors, flew, few, but they're up to really great flavors. And they called me because they were looking for, you know, they wanted to tweak some of their recipes and really be influenced by some really Midwestern desserts. And I think these are three of my favorite flavors okay. that they've come up with. And um, my favorite by far is the strawberry rhubarb cobbler. So it's everything a crisp, a cobbler, a bar, a dessert mm -hmm. that your mom made into an ice cream. The so best. it's the great the vanilla base with the swirl. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then you also have, this is a lemon bar. Lemon bar. So like kind of a, what's yeah. in this? Well, it's the, it's a lemon base and uh -huh. it has the chunks of the bar the in it, so you get like okay. yeah, with the base and then oh, the cool. custardy lemon flavor, so you get that pop of flavor, which is really great, mm -hmm. and then the brookie, which is real nice. So they're using quality ingredients, they're using locally sourced cows, sure. great mm -hmm. great method and techniques. They're doing some really great stuff, and it really shines in the flavors and everything they do at Sweet Me. So I'm really excited to work with them mm -hmm. and help with these flavors. So. I mean, we just have yeah, to. I was gonna say, there are some yeah, right. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I know they all want to share. A lot but of I think talk. Yeah. Can I pick this one for you? Yes. Okay. So this is the lemon. Yeah. Right. This is so great. Okay. It's gonna get I in there. Yeah, you got to get in there. Got it right. Oh, it's good. It's mm -hmm. good, right? Oh, that's so good. You can literally no, Matt, taste actually, the quality. No, Matt, actually, you're not part of this segment. <laughs> huh? No. Oh, oh, there's an extra, oh, there's an there's extra for you. One. That's really delicious. Well, which one do you have? I have the uh, strawberry rhubarb. So, cobbler. Michelle, strawberry oh, rhubarb is like little hands chunks down. in it. It's just spectacular. Yeah, and rhubarb, I mean, it's Whoa. such a short season for Minnesota. Yes. And I love what it does in ice cream because of the tanginess that rhubarb has with the sweet cream of mm -hmm. the ice cream. I think it pairs well. and. When people ask me what's your favorite dessert, I always say rhubarb crisp and ice cream, and they have made it into this beautiful, wow. delicious ice cream that you can it, get at Lunds and Byerly's. Lund you can get at Kowalski's, at Hy-Vee, and Cubs. So it's in it's your everywhere. grocery Find stores. Them everywhere. You should get it because well, sure. it's so delicious. Well, we right. will. And you work for them, so like, of course, you want people to get it. <laughs> yeah. Let her do her job. <laughs> you should get it. Well, you should yeah, get she's it. selling it. All right. I have one for you. Oh, oh you got oh, one too. Just you have, got you one should too. have this kind. Michelle, All right. Uh, thanks, Michelle. You're the best. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you for coming in tomorrow, mid morning. How to deal with a partner who's giving you the silent treatment in our relationship reboot. Is that what was happening There's there? A lot. Kim, There's Kim a lot. There's a lot happening. You the silent treatment yes. by eating. I'm and not listening to anything you're saying. That's fair. And we're checking out some of the